entrepreneur? Well, I believe that entrepreneurs are problem solvers. So entrepreneurs are people who see a problem, have a solution, and are able to monetize it through a business opportunity or bring that solution to market. So on a very simple level, entrepreneurs are problem solvers and they solve problems all over the world. Um, everything from creating diapers for babies because it's a disposable as opposed to a cloth that you have to wash out to things like, you know, the internet and being able to connect people. It's, they really are just problem solvers. Is it a sexist thing to say that we need a female entrepreneur? Well, I think the conversation about women entrepreneurs is really a conversation about inclusion and making sure that everybody is a part of solving those problems. Um, we have greater success when we work together and we have greater success we ha when we have diversity of thought and diversity of perspective and diversity of experience. So having women move into this entrepreneurship world is actually going to be better for the world. When we talk about small businesses and entrepreneurship, is it the same thing? Well, I think the term entrepreneur um, is um, really packed. Um, in the beginning, entrepreneurship seemed like something that was um, techy and nuanced and young, and there were all of these characteristics around what an entrepreneur looked like, you know, t-shirts and then jeans and sneakers in the office, those types of things um, that are kind of uh, glamorized in the entrepreneurship world. Um, entrepreneurs, though, are business owners. Um, it's just a term that I consider talks about owning your own business. So small businesses, however, um, I think is a second level of entrepreneurship where you're really hiring people and growing. So entrepreneurs may start out as micro businesses or solo entrepreneurs or even teams of entrepreneurs, um, teams of individuals. But I don't think there's a huge difference between an entrepreneur and a business owner or an entrepreneur and a small business owner. I believe they're from the same, uh, they're from the same family. <laughs> Uh, talking about differences or no differences, you are living in the United States, mm. DC, and you're traveling all over the world, mm. Europe, Africa, Middle East, maybe? Yes. And um, which are the differences mm. between the needs of mm. uh, female entrepreneurs yeah. or uh, small business uh, owners? Yeah. So I think that the needs um, are, are really the same. Uh, my business is uh, Global Empowerment Solutions, and we provide um, help to cities and countries and organizations that want to grow entrepreneur ecosystems. And what that means is it's figuring out what the entrepreneurs in your community really need. So that need is very clear. It's always financing and capital. It's always technical assistance or trusted guidance and coaching. These things are um, across the world, the needs of an entrepreneur. They have to understand how to run a business, how to operate a business. The okay. differences come in, <laughs> the differences really come in in the political environments or the banking environments in the countries. So here in Cyprus, um, there's more of a challenge around banking. There's more of a challenge around lending. We have, a, we have similarly, we have challenges of lending to women in the US. We have challenges of lending to entrepreneurs of color or minority entrepreneurs in the US. There's not a lot of lending happening in this world, <laughs> but the systems that are structured. For example, if you are a woman but you need your husband's signature to open a bank account, that's the problem. That's a problem. Can I have some ideas in order to support female entrepreneurs? So in Cyprus, I've seen very smart women doing, um, you know, small jobs and looking to get bigger or looking to have great ideas kind of come to life. Mm -hmm. And what I would really really recommend is to increase their networks 
So networking is seen as this place where you go and you're looking to find other people who can do something for you. I really think, um, from my viewpoint, that networking is about giving. So finding out how you can build a community through giving. And a community of women entrepreneurs who are giving to each other will grow stronger and faster. So I think the first piece is kind of getting to know each other and getting together to support business ideas. The second is training. The women here really do need the nuts and bolts training of starting a business. It's not just a bright idea. They need to understand how to research their bright ideas. And then they need to know simple things of the business plan like marketing analysis, how to understand cash flow. These are things that um, seem very uh, distant or almost too big or complex. But the work that we've been doing here is such that um, we've taught the women that it's not that hard. You really are simply answering questions that you have the ability to get the answers to. Thank you very, very much. Oh, thank you so much.